Welcome to the Code 1098 podcast. Thank you for tuning in and listening today. Hello to all my fellow true crime followers and truth seekers. The case we're talking about today is located in Kenosha, Wisconsin. It involves the disappearance and likely murder of Rosalio Gutierrez Jr. He was also known by his nickname, which was Jr. This is an ongoing case in Kenosha County that dates back to 2020. From what we know, Junior was an outgoing social guy. He had a decent sized social circle and several close friends. It has been said that Junior was also a ladies man and he liked to party. He was last seen or heard from on May 17, 2020. It was unusual that nobody heard from him after some point that evening. The police have narrowed down a time frame of when Junior was last heard from and when he stopped responding to people. The day Junior went missing, he had told his girlfriend, Sadie Beachman, that he was going out that night with his friend, Mike. Information has surfaced that Junior really didn't have plans with his friend, Mike, and that he was, in fact, going to be meeting up with another woman. According to the timeline established by police, this meeting would have been at the same time Junior disappeared. The woman that was meeting Junior was at his apartment complex but she went to the wrong building and Junior wasn't responding to her texts or calls, so she left the property. Sadie, Junior's girlfriend, doesn't hear from him since the 17th. It's now May 19th. She becomes concerned enough to go to his apartment. She doesn't get an answer at the door and decide to look through the patio doors. When she does, she discovers the room is covered in blood and a large area of carpet appears to be missing. Sadie was even more concerned at this point and called the police for a welfare check. Once inside the apartment, the police immediately discover blood splatter. There is blood on just about every surface of the room, the walls, the furniture, the floor. They discover clumps of hair and pieces of scalp amongst the blood splatter in the apartment. And there is in fact a large area of rug that was missing. The police have stated that the blood splatter throughout the room was Junior's. It showed Junior was struck multiple times in multiple locations throughout the room. It is believed that based on the amount of blood found in the apartment and the amount of time that passed from when he went missing to when the crime scene was discovered, it is unlikely Junior could be alive. However, police did locate Junior's keys, phone, and wallet in the freezer of his apartment. Now, the prime suspect in this case is a man known as Zachariah Anderson. He stands accused and charged with the murder of Junior and disposing of his body. Zachariah Anderson was Sadie's ex-boyfriend and father of her child. He had a very long history of domestic violence and stalking, including with Sadie. It is also known that Anderson confronted Sadie at one point about her relationship with Junior. It was believed that despite the stalking charges filed against Anderson by Sadie, he was still stalking her and had also began stalking Junior. All of the information right now is pointing to Anderson being an extremely jealous and completely obsessed person when it came to Sadie. It is believed that Anderson killed Junior in his apartment, wrapped him in the carpet that was missing from the apartment, and then it is suspected that Anderson put Junior, wrapped in the carpet, in his van. He then is alleged to have drove to Ozaukee County. Now, at the time, Anderson's address was in Mequon, which is located within Ozaukee County. Rumor is that there are cell tower pings for Anderson's cell phone that day in the disappearance. They place him on a route from Ozaukee County to Junior's apartment complex and then a return trip for the same route. Now, Anderson had absolutely no reason to be in Kenosha that day. He had pending stalking charges against him in Kenosha for stalking Sadie. Police conducted a search of various properties in Ozaukee County. They have said that they have located evidence to believe that Anderson used two different burn pits and disposed of Junior's belongings and his body. One search that involved a cadaver dog led the the detectives to the discovery of a burn pit. That burn pit contained clothing, including steel toe boots and the waistband of men's underwear. 
These items match the description of the clothing that Junior was last seen wearing at the time of his disappearance and what he was known to wear regularly. At this point, you're probably wondering if Junior's body was actually found, and the answer is no. Anderson has not admitted or cooperated in any way with this case. A surveillance video has been obtained by the police showing Anderson on May 18th purchasing garbage bags, latex gloves, and bleach. I guess he also bought some food. Now the video is dated one day after Junior was last seen alive and one day before Sadie discovered the crime scene at Junior's apartment. In addition to the clothing discovery in the burn pit by the cadaver dog, Anders's van had the rear seats and portion of carpet removed. Also found in the van was a single droplet of blood. The blood droplet was a DNA match to Junior. So although the body of Junior has not been found, there is significant evidence that Anderson likely murdered Rosalio Gutierrez Jr. in his apartment and disposed of his body somewhere in Ozaukee County, Wisconsin. The criminal trial of Anderson began on March 14, 2022, with jury selection. But by March 17, the judge declared a mistrial on the basis that a witness statement entered into evidence could not be used since the witness was not available to give testimony at the trial. A new trial has been scheduled to start September 12, 2022. Thank you for listening to the Code 1098 podcast, giving you past, present, solved, and unsolved mysteries and murders. We'll definitely be doing a follow-up to this after or during even the trial scheduled for September. Until next time.